In this video, we're going to take a look at Orca 3D's weight and cost capabilities, and in particular, we'll look at some of the features that are new to version 1.1. To begin weight and cost, the first step is to create a library of standard materials with the Manage Material Library function. In this dialog, we see a list of stock materials listed by their type, point materials, which have a name, a mass, and a cost, curve materials, which have a name and then properties based on a length, surface materials with properties based on an area, and solid materials with properties based on a volume. To add to your library, simply click on Add, enter a name, and the appropriate properties. The next step is to assign these material properties to objects in your model. So for example, I can select the hull and under weight and cost, say assign weight and cost properties. Since that object is a surface, I can assign either simply a point material or a simple weight to it, or I can assign a surface material to it. Once I've done that, I can select from a drop-down from the various surface materials that I've created in my library. Further down in the dialog, you can see that I can override the values that will be computed from the surface area of the material if I'd like to assign them directly. Again, I can move on to another surface, say the deck surface. Say weight and cost, assign weight and cost properties, surface material, and select the material. Click on OK. Sometimes you want to have objects in your model that uh, are included in the weight but are not modeled explicitly in 3D. And to do that, you can simply create point objects. We'll do one at the transom, one up here at the bow. And then you can select that object and assign weight and cost properties to it. But in this case, you'll assign a point material. So we'll put an anchor on the bow. And we'll select the point on the stern. Assign weight and cost properties. And we'll put an outboard engine there. So at some point you need to look at your model to find out if you've assigned weight properties to all of the objects. One of the new features in 1.1 is I can ask it to select all the objects in my model with weight and cost properties or all the objects without weight and cost properties. So here we can see that there's one surface left that hasn't had properties assigned to it. So I'll come into weight and cost, assign weight and cost properties, select a surface, and select one of my stock materials. Next, we can take a look at a list of all of the objects in the model and their properties. So we see the name of the object, its weight, center gravity, and its cost. Down here at the bottom, we see the overall weight, center gravity, and cost. I can sort based on any of these columns in ascending or descending order. I can rename uh, the objects here. So this is going to be the anchor. Here we have the outboard and so on. If I'd like to edit one of these objects I can select it and say edit weight cost properties. That takes me back to this dialog where I can make changes. I can clear the weight and cost properties from any of these objects and I'll confirm and we'll close that. The next step is to generate a weight and cost report and one of the new features in version 1.1 is that you can select either all of the objects in your model, only the visible objects, or only the objects you currently have selected. We'll go with all objects and we see the weight report. One of the new things we've added is this last column to the right which is the weight basis. So for example, a surface object's weight and cost are based on its surface area and so we're reporting the area here. Similarly for a curve object we would report the length. This first page out of the three page report is dedicated to 
weight and center of gravity. The second page includes the cost information, and the third page includes those items from your library which are used in the report. So you have a permanent record of how those library items were defined. Again, once you've uh, created your material library, you can assign objects from it. You can add and delete objects from your library. If you want to send your library materials to others, you can export that library. And if others send their information to you, you can merge that into your library. So that's a review of Orca 3D's weight and cost properties and the new features in version 1.1.